Hi there and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Before we enter the facility here, we will go back because as I rewatched the last video I realized that I had overlooked the corpse of a ghoul. Let's see whether I can find it again. Ah, here it is. So now we have two Bright Brotherhood robes, yay. And um, a recharger pistol too, MF Breeder. Okay. Let's go up again and get in. What kind of gun? Ah, okay. The 10mm pistol. Not the worst. Not the worst. You guys coming? Yep. Let's get in here. Rapcon facility. Here I come. Hey! Over here! Are you listening? Go to the big room on the east side of this building and take the metal staircase all the way up. And hurry! Who are you? Who I am doesn't matter, smooth skin. Stop wasting time and get up here. Where are you located? Like I said, find the metal staircase in the big room on the east side of the building. It's where they used to make rockets. Okay, alright. Get moving. Sounds like a ghoul. Yes, yes, I understand that. Let me take care of your problem. Too late, EDE, he was dead already. Wait there. There's another one. He must be having a convention in there. Where is our friend? Where's the ranger? The sniper, I mean. Is he still waiting outside? Boone? I'll sit tight. I've got your back. Get your ass in here, man. You can keep your cartoon of cigarettes. Huh. What? Now nobody is coming? You gotta be... What the fuck, man? It's like they're too stupid to get in here. Ah, now it worked. Oh well. So, um, let's take a look around. Is the light on? Now it is. Anyone for a cup of coffee? This is locked. Let's unlock it. Oh, we can go up here. Don't really want to. I'd rather steal your empty syringes. Seventy. That's a bunch of rats you get if you drink the water here. All mine. All whose? What's 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 yours? Fuck off. Oh, I'm taking the bottle caps. Excuse me, I wanted to take the bottle caps. We can climb up here if we want to. Anything useful to be had? Don't see anything. What's in the garbage can? Who throws perfectly fine bottle caps away? Taking your stuff. Yes, yes, I understand that. No, I will not shoot at EDE, I'd rather shoot at him. I 
Anyway. Stop pushing me around. This is just plain rude. So we could apparently go up here. Anything nice on the table? What's on the table? Well, a ten, a ten ball. Minor starvation, really. EDE, where the fuck is my food? Only one, please. Ooh, I, I gotta drink something. Do I have purified water? Actually, a bunch. Somehow you can't seem to get across that uh, piece of... garbage, debris. And that is the back entrance where we have already been. Okay. So let us see what is on the other side. There are two doors. Oops, this is the bear trap. Shit. I have to pay more attention. This leads upstairs, okay. That's another toilet room. I'm not taking the dirty water, thank you. Okay, let's explore the upper floor. in the filing cabinets. Nothing that we would really need. This is empty. Go away. You're not gonna get him. Did you have anything useful? Yeah, pre-war money. Okay, okay, okay. Fuck, it's dark. What does the terminal say? Public kitchen. To all Repcon employees from Emily Neimeyer, facility manager. Hello everyone, please remember that the kitchen is a privilege and not a right. Please clean up after yourselves and remember that a clean kitchen is a happy kitchen. Thanks, Emily. P.S. Please also remember that any food left in the icebox without a date will be thrown away every Friday evening, so date your food. Welcome to Repco. Uh, Greetings fellow Repcon employees, I am happy to announce that we have finalized our deal with Repco. Starting tomorrow we will be an official Repco facility. Most of you won't notice anything different aside from an increase in benefits. Thank you all for your time and welcome again to the Repco family. Steve. 
Dear Rob Kosopla, first of all let me say that everyone here is really excited to, about the merger. It's super to be a part of a company as exciting as Robco. Have we got some kinks in the supply chain? Yesterday a bunch of crates got delivered here containing two gross of devices called Stealth Boys. Is it okay if I ask what these things are? Do they really make you invisible? That sounds wild. What will Robco think of next? Let me know if the shipment came here by mistake. No problem if it didn't, I bet you can have a lot of fun with these things. Thanks. Bill Martin. Private server access. Robco visit. Steve, please make sure that your people are ready for the Robco visit. We are down to negotiating on what the project is worth, so the better that experiment goes tomorrow, the better for all of us. Sir, I have my team looking into what happened yesterday. I was assured by my best people that the experiment would go off without a hitch. We are starting cleanup of the affected area, but I am told it may take decades for the radiation to clear completely. Whoa. Uh, just make sure that someone is punished for this. This has significantly reduced our position with Rubco. I want them to know that we can keep our house in order. Oops, so uh, an experiment went wrong and it takes decades for the radiation to clear. Oh, great. Nothing new in here. Perfectly good battle bottle caps in here. Yep, you should file them under B for bottle caps or under M for money. Or under P for please do not look here. All of them. Martin's retirement. Hey Gordon, I was as surprised as you were to hear about Martin's retirement. It seemed that things were going so well. The party sounds like a great idea. I'm sure he'll love to see everyone on his last day. Let me know if there is anything I can do to help. Yeah, you have fun. Eat this. Cake. Stacy, are you kidding me? We've been planning Martin's party for months now and you forgot to order the cake? There's no way we are going to find some place to deliver one out here on this kind of notice. Go to the break room and find something for everyone to eat at the party. Gordon. So that's pretty much it. I'm not going um, upstairs yet. Let's take a look at the local map. So it looks like we explored a bunch, but not everything yet. But still, it's like a two dimensional map for a three dimensional area, you know, with several different levels of height. It just fucks. Oh. No, thank you. No. Fuck off. I wanna... Oh, he's dead already. That was fun. Yeah, that just fucks navigation up. Sorry. Ah, this must be the room with the medals there. Hey, what happened to you? 
We may need to repair a few things. Um, item, weapons, what do we have? Two of those. Rebar clubs. Recharger pistols. They're not bad if you take a look at them. Um, they actually don't use ammo. You're mine. They recharge automatically. Who are you shooting at? Although they don't do that much damage. And I'm not good with energy weapons. That's so. At least not yet. This will change, of course. Hey, what's that? The door to the basement. We will get a key for that, but I want the XP for picking the lock. Thank you, and we go back up. There's a bunch of dead ghouls and a rotten Brahmin corpse too actually. That's odd, how did they get in here? I thought um, no Brahmin corpses were stolen. They were just killed at the, at the range. Or at the ranch rather. Hey! A plasma defender too. This looks very interesting. Another locked door. And a locked safe. Ooh, what's that? A hunting revolver. That is mine. All of that is mine. Taking all of it. Another locked door. Big deal, now it's unlocked. You can actually keep your knives. Looks like we pretty much have it now. No, I didn't loot you yet. Okay, we need to repair stuff again. Value 12, really, that's nothing. Oh well. The hunting revolver is nice, although I don't seem to have any ammunition for that. Which makes this rather useless. 45. Okay. I'm still carrying that minigun around. Hmm. Another locked door. Let's see, what do we get?
There's nothing of importance in here. Why would you lock the bloody door? Hmm. Beats me. Have we been here already? Yeah, it looks like. Yeah, I was here. Okay, I guess we can go to the room with the metal stair now. We pretty much explored everything up here. Wait, I was not up here yet. Okay, let's explore that too. Damn, those games would really benefit from a three-dimensional map so that you know where you've been. This looks interesting too. Storage room terminal. Hi Steve, we finished converting that old generator room into storage as you requested if you her if you need to get access to the safe the password is Repcon with a three. Thanks, Bill. Hello Stevie. Well I can't say that I'm surprised. You were a devious worm when we started here all those years ago. I guess someone has to take the blame and it may as well be your old friend. That waste spill never would have happened if you didn't push the team so hard, or if you had paid for actual competent personnel. I'll be happy to take my retirement package. Good riddance to you and this forsaken place, Martin. Okay, this doesn't look too good. So they found someone to put the blame on. Oh, I need a lockpick of 50 to get in here. Let's actually see what, uh, whether there's anything useful in there. Where was it? I should be able to do it. And there is a nothing that is really worth that. Fine, whatever. So we came from here. Is there another door somewhere here? No, but there are a few more desks that we could check. Very good. So, let's go to the right. Um, that's a dead end. Looks like I have lost the sniper. There he is. I could actually sleep for an hour. And um, move on. That's all really there is. 
up here. Yep. Okay. So we have explored that. It's time to climb up the stairs. <laughs> okay. A nice little rocket. Okay. God, but are you ugly? Get upstairs and talk to Jason before I throw up just from looking at you. Hey, you're not a ghoul. Your pranks won't work on me, Smooth Skin. They won't work on Jason either. Smooth Skin? Your skin looks pretty smooth to me. Stop wasting my time, Smooth Skin. Go waste Jason's. Yeah, that's a, a human that thinks he's a ghoul. Kind of odd. Although I must admit, uh, technically, like genetically, biologically, ghouls are humans too, right? They have just been irradiated very badly, and that's it. That does not uh, turn them into another species, though. Hi. Yes. You're a bright follower. Hey, this is Jason here. Hello, Wanderer. Please forgive us our humble surroundings. Our true home awaits us in the far beyond. Have you come to help us complete the great journey? Uh, I'm here because feral ghouls have been wandering into Novak. And they've been shooting them down like animals, haven't they? Those ghouls were members of my flock, even after the madness consumed their minds. We never let them wander free. We kept them safe on the first floor. We kept them contained. The demons must have let them out. Somehow. And now they are lost forever, denied the salvation and healing glow of the far beyond. Please, Wanderer, bear in mind that every feral ghoul you spare now is one that we can save later. Once the way is clear, our feral brothers and sisters will accompany us on the great journey. If there are any left. Um, tell me more about these demons. The demons appeared from nowhere, except it might be more accurate to say they never actually appeared at all. The demons are invisible. Where one of them stands, the most one sees is the air shimmering, like sunlight on water. They set upon us as we were on our way to worship one morning. We had just entered the basement. My flock fought bravely and killed a few, but at such cost, nearly half of us died or went missing. The rest of us retreated up here. One of the demons raved at us, but they have not tried to attack us since. Still, their demonic presence brought all progress towards the great journey to a standstill. But now you have come. Once again the Creator has sent a human to help us across a seemingly insurmountable obstacle. Mm, uh, you say one of the demons raved at you? Yes, over the intercom. Threats of death should be step outside. Guarantees of safety should be stay locked away. It went on for hours and did not always make sense. But that was the first day only. Since then, silence. Will you drive away the demons, Wanderer? Mm, I'll take care of the demons for you. Praise the Creator! Bless you, Wanderer! Bless us all! As soon as the Underground has been rid of demons, preparations for the Great Journey can resume. Hey, I'm not done yet. Is the way clear? 
Um, who are you? I am Jason Bright, the prophet of the Great Journey. All the ghouls you see here are members of my flock. Your last name is Bright? That's funny. An auspicious name, don't you think? It was mine before I became as I am now. Before the Great War, even. Truly does the Creator author a destiny for each and every one of us. What is the Great Journey? We wish to escape the barbarity of the Wasteland. Especially the violence and bigotry of its human inhabitants. The Creator has promised to my flock a new land. A place of safety and healing. A paradise in the far beyond. Preparations for the Great Journey were nearly complete when the demons appeared. How will you make the journey? The means by which the Great Journey is to be accomplished are an article of faith. Not to be discussed with outsiders. What is the far beyond? I have glimpsed it only in visions, Wanderer, but what I have seen is truly miraculous. It is a place of light and healing, and I know in my soul that my flock will be safe there. What's the deal with the human who let me in? You're referring to Chris. I doubt you had much luck if you tried telling him that he's human. We had the same discussions when he first appeared, and the same lack of success. He believes he is one of us. Soon enough we realized that Chris was a gift from the Creator. He is integral to the success of the Great Journey. Hmm. I haven't dealt with the demons yet. I understand. I know you will fulfill your promise. Yeah, don't worry. So, um, okay. Let's um, go back then. Can't really do anything that would be stealing. Uh, so we will come back later. Once they have gone on their journey. Which way? More like this way. And down here into the basement. Okay, and we will be taking a break and continue in the next video. So, thanks for watching and see you soon.